first question here says write the number 3840 in words and all they want to do is to write down 3840 you know, what we've got here if you think of it it's got your thousands your hundreds your tens and units so if you write down in words 3000 they're not looking so much for the correct spelling as long as they can tell it's the right words so 3000 800 and 40 so 3840 for the first one the next one part B write the number 5012 in figures 5000 is that number 12 is that number make sure you're not so sure about some of these write them out so they're lined up in the right so then add them together as a sum and if you add those together as a sum you'll get everything in the right place 5012 is 5012 Part C, what is the value of the digit 4 in 8462? This number here, what's that 4 meaning is what it says. Well, if you read that number out in words, it's 8,462. So it's 8,462. And it's that 400 that I emphasised there that they want there. That 4 is standing for 400. In the next one, write this number correct to the nearest thousand. It's 2684. The answer is either going to be 2000, because that is a 2000 or something number, or if you round up, 3000. It's going to be one of those. You always have to decide whether or not you round up. Now the halfway point between 2000 and 3000 is 2500, or 2500. So if this number lies between these two numbers here, I will write this down. If this number is between these two, I will write this one down. And 2684 is between these two numbers here, so 3000 will be the correct answer. I'll cross out the answer so the examiner is quite clear which my final answer is. That one is 3000 pounds. It's 3000. So 2684 is nearer 3000 than it is 2000. Final one, they're taking away 500, 358. We're doing a taking away, setting out so the big number is on the top of the taking away. Then we have nothing, take away eight, we can't do. So we've got to borrow. So we come back over here a column, but we can't borrow anything from nothing. So we come back over here. We borrow one from there, so we knock that number down by one. And the one we've borrowed, we put here. So that's now a four. This is now a ten, and this is a zero. And now there's a 10 here, I can borrow one from there, so I can knock that 10 down by 1 to make that a 9, and I can put the 1 over here. This is now 10, and 10 take away 8 is 2, 9 take away 5 is 4, and 4 take away 3 is 1. So the answer to that question, 142. If you need any more help on taking away, we've got a video about taking away with whole numbers, if you search for that one, you'll find plenty more examples of those questions.